Hey, good morning. Welcome to Friday morning. I've been thinking a lot about mindset this morning because um, I woke up today and I felt very, very groggy and a familiar thought was passing through my mind. Uh, I really dislike waking up to an alarm. I, I just want to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to be woken up before I'm ready to wake up. <laughs> and you do that enough mornings in a row and you just want to sleep, <laughs> but you can't because you've got responsibilities. Well, you, you got to get up and go to work and that's its own pie of stuff to talk about. You've got to get up and feed the kids because you know, they're not going to feed themselves at this age. And that's a beautiful thing. Uh, but when you have the wrong mindset, you're thinking about it as a burden, as a problem, as something that's standing between you and whatever it is that you want at that time. In my case this morning, it was sleep. <laughs> and uh, it, it made me think of a, a psychological concept of depression. Depression being anger that you've turned inwards. So maybe some of you, when you were younger, you were chastised for your anger. You know, you had some kind of outburst and you were told that's wrong. No, you can't be angry, blah, blah, blah. And that taught you to internalize it rather than expressing yourself uh, and learning how to dispel those feelings of anger in a healthy way, you internalize it and it causes a depression, okay? Look it up, because right? uh, I'm not a psychiatrist or anything like that, and I don't want to lead you down the wrong path. But uh, rather than dealing with your emotions and moving past them, you, you turn it inward and it turns into a hopelessness, into a depression where you're everything that you have to go through and do is a chore, is a problem, is some kind of issue. And uh, part two of this mindset shift, think about your ancestors. One thing your ancestors had was grit. They had grit. You know, they're sleeping on the ground and it's cold at night and it's too hot during the day and there's no food unless you go out and find it. And we got to build some shelter or we'll die in the middle of nowhere. And when there was something to do, you just did it because you have to do it. They had grit. They kept going. So my, my life is very soft now. I, I have everything I could possibly need. If I don't have the money to provide food for myself and my family, I can literally take a piece of plastic down to a building that is filled with food and pay for that food with money that's not mine <laughs> and eat. I don't have to go out and hunt. I don't even have to cook it in a lot of cases. It's a very soft life. And so this idea of grit, this ability to keep going when you have to keep going, when you, when you feel that internalized anger turned into depression, that hopelessness, it's been removed from myself, from many people, right? From society, if you want to look at it that way. We don't just go, okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to get it done. Oorah! You know, <laughs> no, we look at it, we go, oh, I'm so groggy and my alarm's waking me up. I have to go to work. Oh my God, my family's here and I have to take care of them rather than seeing them as the immense, intense, wonderful blessing that they are. <laughs> yeah. That is, it's poison. It's absolute poison. Um, so I'm driving to work right now and I'm just thinking about how to fix that. Because if it is internalized anger that is causing this terrible mindset, I need to express that better. Okay, well that, that leads to all kinds of questions. Like, how are you conducting yourself in your day-to-day -day life? Are you expressing your, your needs, desires, and, uh, and thoughts? Um, or are you bending over backwards to meet the needs of other people? Are you being a doormat to others? Are you just, God, the word kowtowing is coming to mind. <laughs> are you just <laughs> curtailing what you want and need and just to make everyone else around you happy and peaceful, harmonious interactions with everyone. Because as a kid, anything that you wanted or anything that you expressed was suppressed, was told as wrong, was 
chastised. Interesting. It's an interesting thought because I, I don't want to live my life in this way where you wake up and go, oh, it's another day. I've got to get through today. There's nothing I'm looking forward to. You know, you're going to go crunch some spreadsheets of data or time to cook some oatmeal for the kids again. Okay. Uh, time to wake up. Uh, I just want to sleep. Like that is, that is not how I want to live my life. So combining all of these different ideas into one, the only way forward I can see right now to do this better is looking at my ancestors and going, you know what I miss? What I'm, what I'm lacking is grit. <laughs> is that just, what do you have to do? I, like I'm saying, life is soft. I don't have to go fight in a war. I don't have to uh, like hunt an animal to get food. I, I'm gonna have to fold some laundry later and prepare for my daughter's birthday this weekend. And I get to go to a job where uh, not a single person is going to attack me. Uh, my life is dang easy. And this mindset of, of everything's a chore, it's a problem, is, is poison, ruining my experience. So today, I'm going to encompass... I'm encompass. Uh, today, I'm, I'm going to embody that spirit of my ancestors, that grit, that get it done. Just do the thing. I've got this... Um, there's a new release coming out. It's not releasing on a Friday. Don't worry, software people. Uh, but I've got to do some some testing for it and we'll run through that whole process and fill out some testing notes and whatever. And I'm just going to get it done. I'm going to put on my favorite metal album <laughs> and just power through that thing. And I'm going to come home. I'm going to have the best attitude ever. I'm going to be so grateful to be able to hug my kids again. I I'm going to have a great day. Because that's what I want. I want it all to be a great day. I have a great existence. My life is awesome. And I woke up feeling frustrated that I couldn't sleep more. What a sham. What a, a robber of joy. What? <laughs> Look at this. I have clothes. I'm driving a car right now. I've got a handful of things I need to do. Woo! It's going to be awesome. All these things are awesome. <laughs> I got to hug my family this morning and it was awesome. So I'm I'm done with this negative attitude, this everything's a chore thing, this like drab, I've nothing look to look forward to, these thoughts in my head. I don't want that anymore. I don't I don't want to embody that and think about like every responsibility as a burden. It's not it's not that. It's an opportunity. It's a chance to experience something new. It's a it's a journey on your life. This is your life. And every day you're just angry. And you don't realize you're angry. You're sad about it. Because you've turned that anger inwards and made it into a problem. Every little thing. Boo. Boo to that. Boo. I'm going to go be awesome. And I'm going to go have an awesome day. I'm going to make sure I leave it all a little bit better than I found it. Every little thing I touch. Because my kids deserve that. They deserve a, a happy environment when they wake up. Where they're loved. And it's wonderful to wake up again. And my wife deserves that. You know, me waking up and going, you know what? I'm so happy to wake up and be here with you. And to experience a new day on this earth. And my coworkers deserve that. And I deserve that. I deserve to be happy about the fact that I woke up. And how I conduct myself, the thoughts that I'm having, that's all in my control. I can do all these things. You just have to get to the root of the problem and develop some better habits for conducting my own behavior. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have grit today. I'm gonna go crush it. And you are too. You're gonna have a great day. I hope some of this was relatable and possibly helpful. Go figure out a way to express whatever feelings you're feeling, okay? You're not wrong for having some 
anger or negative thoughts or anything like that, but how you process it, how you bring it out into the world, how you conduct yourself while having those negative thoughts, that is important and that is in your control. You don't have to live life like it's all a giant chore or an issue. You can enjoy your day. Even when you got to go hunt and kill your food and make shelter and crunch some numbers in a spreadsheet. <laughs> it's going to be great. Okay? Go forth and conquer. Have a great Friday. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching.